Good afternoon everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for coming back. Today is a bit of a crazy random video really, I've only just had the idea. Um, I'm quite a spontaneous person so if I have an idea I will go for it very quickly. Um, so basically excuse the state of me, I'm locked down here in the UK and I have no makeup on and you're probably going to see me a lot with no makeup on in this channel so yeah that's kind of it really. Um, I'm also wearing my painting jumper because today's video is actually a little bit of a room transformation but a very quick one at that. So I was basically doing some work on my landing, which is where my desk is, and I thought, oh, do you know what? It's it's not it's just not right. It's, these room flows just they're just not working for me. So what I've decided to do is basically switch around two of the rooms in our house. Um, we haven't got a video on here, but basically a few weeks ago we did a bedroom transformation. If you head over to my Instagram, you'll be able to see it on my IGTV of how we did the wall panelling, things like that. Um, but basically today I thought I'm actually going to vlog this because I love room change arounds and transformations and things like that. So um, yeah, we're going to get started. I'll just show you basically what rooms we're, um, we're going to be changing over and the reasons why. room you can't really see um but we're still really struggling with some storage ideas and things like that eventually um this was actually going to be our next lockdown project was to basically build a fitted wardrobe from here to here um but we are still kind of umming and ahhing about it eventually we do want to get a fitted wardrobe in there dale is fairly confident he can build one um just quite a minimalist one which is all we want we don't want all the bells and whistles uh so that is basically the plan for this area um and then we've just got a little day bed in here which is perfect it comes out into a double so this is kind of like our spare room like I said but this room gets so much light like I think at the minute it's like must be what need two o'clock and it's still so so light and it's not really a particularly sunny day so what I've been doing when I've been filming is basically um bringing everything into this room so I've like brought the rail in brought all my clothes in like brought everything in and then I just thought why do I keep doing that why do I keep bringing stuff in because this bed fits perfectly in that other room and obviously at the minute we're not going to have anyone stay for a very long time and even when we do have people stay it's usually like my friend or Dale's friend so they usually just stay in the single bed and we don't have to pull it out for them anyway so that is what I'm going to do today I'm basically going to swap around the two rooms I'll just show you the other room quickly yeah so this is the other room we basically call our dressing room it's just again really simple room we've done nothing to these rooms basically since we moved in because ideally in the future no not yet i'm not pregnant but ideally in the future i'd like we will we both really like this to be a nursery it's a perfect little nursery it's not too light and it's kind of goes you can see out the back and so yeah eventually we'd like this to be a nursery so hi looking like a state um we didn't really want to do masses to this and we still don't really but basically the idea of it is is that we're going to put the spare bed there and then put the bits and bobs that are a little bit of an eyesore at that area um to kind of push it away so yeah so you can kind of see it from this angle Ooh. they are the two rooms and these are basically the two rooms that we're going to be swapping over but before we do that like i said these rooms literally have not been touched since we moved in like three years ago so they've had no paint on them or anything so what i'm actually going to do is paint this back wall here uh which is where i'm then going to put my rail because i want it to look really nice and like now i'm doing more vlogging and igtvs and things I'd, i need this room to kind of be like my filming room um so yeah that is what i'm going to do so i'm going to pull out this bed paint the wall and then basically we'll go from there <laughs> everybody welcome back to the video and um, we are now a day later on this video so a lot has changed um 
I didn't film all of it because it was getting really dark and the video wasn't really performing very well. So I thought, do you know what? I'm just going to stop it and then I'll start it again in the morning. Um, we've still got some bits to do, so you're not too behind. In a minute, I've got everything on these wooden hangers, which have been lovely. And, oh, that one's actually broken. But I've had them for years and years and years. So I actually watched a video the other day and somebody suggested to buy these little ones. They're basically like a hell of a lot thinner and everything stays on them properly. And I actually really like the look of having the black hangers. So what I'm going to do now is basically swap everything over onto these hangers. Um, I could only get, these were the only ones left in stock in home base. They were, for a pack of 10, they were £3, which I think is really, really good price. Um, but there was only three on the shelf, so I could only get 30 hangers. But I think mm, we might be a bit short, but let's just give it a go. One thing I did just want to mention was I saw these on the Fashion Influx's Instagram. I think it's such a good idea. So she recommended that these little things that you get on like Coke cans, Fanta cans, things like that, basically make a really good like second hanger. So I'll show you. For example, here I've got two little cami tops and another two little black cami tops on there. If you put the little ring pull around here, basically can put them both on one hanger because they don't need to be on two separate hangers it takes up more space so that is such a good idea literally just a little ring pull from Fanta can and it's made that so that is such a good little idea okay so I'm not finished yet and I haven't actually got out any of my summer stuff um which I don't have much of but that has made, I still have one, there's still a few things that I can't get on them. Hangers, but I will find some. And But that has made such a difference. There is so much more space. And all I've really taken out is just a few jumpers. Nothing massive, but they really have created so much space. And they look really nice. And nothing is falling off them. Um, so I really recommend them. I think they look really smart as well. I'm just waiting for Dale to put up the mirror. Uh, on there he's also I need to sort all these hangers out now and um, he's also going to put this mirror up as well and that's kind of it in here really so just need that done a few more hangers um the shelf needs changing and the big mirror and I'd like to get some sort of light fixture for here so I don't really like that but I don't really know what I want yet so I did have a little look in home base when I went earlier but I couldn't see anything I liked totally forgot to show you this room but yeah this is our tiny little box room that basically one day I would like it to be a baby's nursery uh, but it's actually perfect for what we need it for that will do for now this room still looks like an absolute mess we need to we need to sort this out really happy with how this room is coming along um I am just going to try and get Dale now to basically put the mirror on the wall and I'm going to get rid of all these hangers and things like that and put some bits away. I've had a bit of a molly moment and I'm actually going to paint them handles black. And I, they were black originally then I sprayed them gold and I just kind of, there isn't really any gold in here. If anything, there's kind of silver with the rails. So I just don't think they look that great. So well, there's a bit of gold there to be fair, but um, I'm going to go black with them. I feel like it will go with the shelf, go with the mirror more. I was just put up the black shelf. Um, I think that looks so much better and it's got a lot more space as well um, for the bags so I think that looks really really smart now okay so I'm learning to be patient for once in my life because basically we are living in a new build like I've said before and our walls are like paper basically so anything heavy going on them has to have these little things basically like these little plug things that um go into the wall and like connect it and basically bind it all together because i don't the last thing i want is for dale to try and put it up because i've been so impatient and then the whole bloody wall comes down so yes we're just waiting for that but as soon as that's up hopefully that'll be up tonight um and i will take a little video of that as well okay so after moaning that we had to wait to put the mirror up Dale has gone to his friend and managed to get a drill bit, which I'm absolutely buzzing about because it means we can put it up. Now going up. I've basically painted, like I said, I've painted these handles, that one's fallen. But look at the state of my hand. Absolute state. And because it's matte black paint, it is a proper ass to get off. So they're still drying. Um, if anyone wants to know what this is called, I mean, I wouldn't use it to paint handles with and i wouldn't have done that usually but a typical impatient molly 
I just thought, go for it. And then they, they're going to look good. It could have probably been better spray painted, to be honest. But that is fine. We live and we learn. It's the paint that we use, if anyone does want to use it. Now, like, now I've got matte black paint out. I'm like, what can I paint matte black? Like, everything needs to go matte black. But... I might hold off. I'm really tempted to paint that. Look at the state of my hands. I'm really tempted to paint that rail black. Um, I think it would look so good. But I'm really worried about it like chipping. But I guess if I'm just really careful with the hangers. But is that like annoying? If you're like careful with the hangers. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Now I've got it out and the dust sheets are here and things like that. I'm like oh should I just give it a coat? I don't know. Oh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Right. I'll report back when I've done it. First coat on the rail, done. I'm actually really glad I did this. It's such an easy paint to, but well, it's basically is for metal, so it's really, really easy to use on metal. I think it, it is obviously matte black, so it's going to dry. I think it will probably need a second coat in some areas. Like, these bits at the end, like, probably not. I'm literally so excited to be done. It was, like, one of them makeover... Oh, my God. Excuse me. It was one of them things where I was, like, right, I've got an idea. And I had to do it. But it's been, like really easy the only thing we've spent out on is that mirror everything else is what we've already had in oh and that shelf actually and the hangers but that was probably about 70 pounds in general so not much um yeah really chuffed to have done it hopefully it will all come together nice the next time i'm probably going to be on this vlog will probably be when everything's in place so yeah exciting hi um the lighting this day is really blah, 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 blah. the lighting this day is really dark um and it's actually really late, it's like 11 o'clock. But I've been on a call all evening for work. Just on my skin care, by the way. That's why I look really greasy. I've put like so much product on my face. Um, I've been on a call for work. Dale actually went to play golf, which he's so excited about. He had a really good time. Um, and I just finished, and then I just cleared up. And then I've just done a second coat on this rail. And then put a few um, of the knobs on the drawers. They look really good, and so does the rail, so I'll just show you. Ta -da! So chuffed with it. I'm super happy with it. I cannot wait to get it back on. All my clothes are just down there in a pile. Um, and this room is a tip, but I literally cannot wait to get it sorted tomorrow. Okay, guys, I'm so excited. Look! Oh, my God. It's pretty much all done. It's so bright in here this morning. Hi, I'm still in my hoodie and my PJs. But look how gorgeous it is. The rail turned out amazing. I'm not gonna lie, I think it will scrap. I think we just have to be extra cautious on scraping the rail. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love it. So gorgeous, such a nice space. Love the big mirror there as well. Yeah, I mean, eventually, like I said last night, I do really wanna get a new light for there. I'm just not really sure what kind of thing I think I want, I think I want something what I've got in the hallway, which I'll show you. Something like that. Um, I think would look really, really nice there. But again, I don't want to like overwhelm the space. And I do have a tendency of doing that. So if there's any interior designers on here that want to help me, please, please slide into my DMs or comment. Cause I'd love to know. Excuse the state of me, cause I have just woken up. Um, but I'm going to end this vlog kind of transformation here. Uh, I'm going to be doing like a little mini one of basically like a wardrobe turnover. So I know I did a little bit of that in there. Um, <clears throat> but the rest of it is going to be in the next vlog. So thank you so much for watching. Please comment. Please subscribe. Please let me know what you think of it. Um, I'd love to know your thoughts. If there's anything else I can do. Um, and yeah, I'll see you all soon. Bye guys.